हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू प्लूटस आई एस आई एम केशव किशोर एंड आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग द करेंट अफेयर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सो टूडे फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज काजीरंगा नेशनल पार्क वन हंड्रेड एट एनिमल डाई इट वॉज इन यूज बिकॉज देर वॉज फ्लड इन असम एंड ड्यू टू फ्लड देर इज हैबिटेट प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वाइल्ड लाइफ एनिमल्स and approximately 90% area of kajiranga national park has been submerged by the flood in assam so that's why you can see here that many of the one horn rhino are going towards the upper land which is the karbi anglong hills so it led to heavy casualties to animals living in the park until now 108 animals died many animals are taking shelters at the highland of karbi anglong hills so you can visualize here they are going towards the highland of karbi anglong hills the main cause of flood is poor embankment and difficult terrain to provide protection from flood so these are the main cause of the flood which is coming every year in assam now come to more about kajiranga national park so it is very important because kajiranga national park is one of world's world heritage site of india recognized by unesco and it is also unesco recognized biosphere reserve of india so there are 38 world heritage site in india and out of this kajiranga national park is also world heritage site and there are 11 recognized biosphere reserve by unesco in india kajiranga national park is one of them and then here this national park has world's largest population of one horn rhino that is approx 2400 rhinos one horn rhino are there and wild asiatic buffalo and eastern swamp deer it has significant population of elephant gaur and sambar so there are very much wildlife wildlife animals are there and you can also see this kajiranga national park is in the eastern himalaya range eastern himalaya and eastern himalaya is also the biodiversity hot spot of india biodiversity hot spot and india has two hot spot one is eastern himalaya and another one is western ghats so it is very much important from the ecological point of view kajiranga national park now come to the flora part of kajiranga that is a very vast expanse of tall grass mast land and dense tropical moist broadleaf trees spread in the areas of 430 square kilometer now it is also to be noted that assam has six national park kajiranga national park is one of them and the six national park of assam is Dehing Patkai National Park recently got the national park status, and now India has one zero five national park, and the latest one is Dehing Patkai National Park. So you have to remember these things apart from the Kaziranga National Park. Now come to the second topic of the day, that is safeguard duty on Chinese solar cells. So India recently decided to continue the safeguard duty. on every types of solar cells imported from china vietnam and thailand the duty was first imposed in 2018 and now it will be further continued for another one year starting from july 31st 2020 so you can see here that these solar cells are mainly imported from china vietnam and thailand so now what government decided to not import to to have heavy duty on import so that import can be reduced and the domestic industry can be benefited domestic industry can be benefited and for this malaysia and indonesia are exempted from such duties malaysia and indonesia are exempted while china vietnam and thailand are not exempted these duties are import imposed to protect domestic industries now see some some terms are very much in use for example there is safeguard duty and countervailing duty there is also anti dumping duty so you must know about these things safeguard duty is a tariff barrier imposed by government 
to protect domestic industries when import of certain items goes in excessive quantity so here you can see that solar cells ex import solar cell import was going high tremendously that's why government decided to continue safeguard duty on solar cells now come to countervailing duty countervailing duty are such duties which have to counter the negative impact of import subsidies to protect domestic producers now see i am giving you the example for example if we are talking about the agricultural product of us agricultural product of us us gives various subsidies to its farmers on agricultural products so suppose there if we talk about 1 kg rice 1 kg rice if they producing it in rupees 20 but us government gave 10 rupees subsidy for per kg so now their overall production cost is rs 10 rupees but in india suppose we are producing at rs 15 per kg so now we will not be able to sell below rs 15 but us can sell below rs 15 so it can hamper the interests of indian farmers so what indian government can do indian government can impose countervailing duty on rice so that rupee 15 rupees so that here it can be made rs 15 rupees per kg for us also now us and india indian rice are at par with each other now come to anti dumping duty anti dumping anti dumping duty when domestic government thinks that price of a foreign good is below market value it can impose anti dumping duty to bring it at par of domestic goods suppose chinese toys suppose chinese toys or chinese crackers if government thinks that they are coming in indian market at throw away prices at very less prices so what indian government can do indian government can impose anti dumping duty on such items so that china and such can such duty can be of very high percentage of very high percentage so now indian market cannot be hampered tremendously now come to rapid fire round with the help of iit madras startup modulus housing has developed portable housing unit name as medicap so it will now work as a portable hospital portable hospital now come to second point kurma mobile app developed by indian government to conserve turtle to conserve turtle which mobile app has been launched to then kurma mobile app now come to the third point uk will deploy hms queen elizabeth carrier to counter china as being part of international parliamentary alliance on china due to covid 19 there is one alliance in the leading of us and in the lead of us and uk and here international parliamentary alliance was done now come to the next point madhu babu pension scheme of odisha will now include transgender so it was initially for disabled and widows not transgenders will also be included in this UAE launched Arab world's first Mars mission so using hope's hope spacecraft UAE became the first country in Arab world to launch Mars mission health minister harshvardhan launches plasma donation campaign at aims delhi so plasma is very much required for the covid 19 patients that's why health minister also launches plasma donation campaign and the last one is nasa will launch james webb space telescope in october 2021 it will be another great space telescope of nasa after hubble telescope so nasa is now going far behind the observations coming by hubble telescope they are now going towards more in the greater space using james webb space telescope it was initially to be launched in march 2021 but now it will be launched in october 2021 that's all with that's all for today's current affairs thank you so much